Let's get it, man. All right, Lawrence. In the yeah, building. Everybody calls me Jake. Jake. All right, all yeah. right. That's what's up. That's what's up. How you feeling today? I'm on this side of the dirt, so it's a great day. You know, you know, every day is a good day when you're above ground, man. That is that is what's up. That is That's, what's up. All right. So, that is it. so just to give a little synopsis of the situation, um, I have talked to a, a Dick Levy driver. Uh, let me just uh, let me just set it up here. You you're a former Dick Levy driver and a little bit of controversy from what somebody else said that happened to you and uh, the former uh, recruiter at uh, at Dick Levy Trucking. Um, yeah, he kind of went out of the way to say that uh, that you was let go because of PC and uh, and and the recruiter left because of you leaving because of that. So, you know, that is not true. So when when I spoke with uh, spoke with the uh, former recruiter, she kind of like let me know that, nah, like you just said, nah, that's not true. And I don't understand why, you know, that person would say that. So you're here today to clarify what actually happened at Dick Levy Trucking. Yes, I am. All right, all right. Dave, all right. Uh, I did not get fired. I resigned. I gave them short notice because, well, Ohio is an at-will state, meaning you need to be fired or hired at will. But things was hard. My other half, the recruiter, was trying to recruit drivers, and I was telling her what I was reading on the back of other trailers and other companies' ads about pay increase and stuff. Well, I happened to find a really good paying job less than two miles from the house to where I could be home every day, so I went. So I'm making 10 cents more on the mile and I'm home every night. So you, so you at Dick Levy, you, you, you was what kind of driver over the road, regional, local? What, what were you over there? OTR. All right. So you pretty. I ran from Dayton, Ohio to Urban, Texas and back. Okay. Okay. Pretty much. Well, that was, yeah, regional, uh, you know, something what I'm doing right now. I've run from Ohio down to Texas and back again. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, all right. So you've been with the company for quite a while. Where, where did the sour milk begin? There was really no sour milk. It's just, you know, I can make 10 cents more a mile. Money money talks. You're a driver. You understand that. I'm not out on the road for my health. I'm out there to make money. And if I can make more money and work less hours, why not? Exactly. Exactly. So you, um, so I'm going to assume you know, with the offer that the that the current company offers you, you kind of like went back to them and, you know, see if you can, you know, strike up, you know, strike up a deal to see if you can stay or continue to, you know, continue to drive for them, you know, at a at at the rate that the current company was offering. you. Did did you do that? I told them what I'd be making, and they did not put a counter offer on the table. That'll do it. They were like, "This is what we're paying, and that's it." That'll do it. That'll do it. So there wasn't no reason. The, the the main reason why you actually left was because you 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 was offered you was offered more money 
to to drive for your current company and you just you you couldn't get a better offer with dick levy which is understandable and correct you, you kind of just say hey okay i understand well thank that you is correct i was offered better money and they didn't want to compete right so you just went back to them to say hey thank you for the time and I appreciate it and uh part, and, and part ways that way. Yeah, I didn't want to leave on sour grapes or sour notes. I, I didn't think I left one with, you know, any hard feelings towards each other. Just, you know, I have to look out for me and my my house, my family. And like I said, if anybody out there that won't go to a job that pays more money to where you work less hours, that that's their opinion. That's up to them. Me, it's work smarter, not harder. Exactly. So why why would another driver from Dick Levy trucking would would, would say something like that? I mean, in what do you think? Where where do you think that would probably come from? All the rumor mill mill at Dick Levy is strong there. People always tell it's crap that ain't true there. They only get part of the story. They don't get half the story or they make the, fabricate the story. It's always been that way there. So, again, you... I hate to say that, but that's, but it's been that way ever since I worked there. So you've been with Dick Levy for how long? I worked there for five years. Took, uh, few months off then i went back and worked another five years so 10 years all together with them yes and they couldn't they they couldn't match 10 cent am i'm am i'm hearing that correct no. they 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 you're, they you're hearing that correct they wouldn't match 10 cent for a driver that's been lightweight loyal to him for 10 years Correct. Wow, that's well. Let me ask you this: Did I mean you know? Of course, you you would probably go to HR and you know negotiate with them. But being that you've been there with the company for ten years, I'm sure you had, you know, you, you your your background with them is is great. You know, as far as getting the getting the loads on time and you know doing extra, you know when needed did you by chance take your your negotiations to to the man himself uh dick levy himself no because when i gave my notice he conveniently wasn't in his office i went out and did my run to irving texas came back and again he wasn't conveniently wasn't in his office wow that's but he he knew and he never extended any out to me either. Wow, that's that's crazy. I, I I would think I would think a ten year driver being loyal to the company for ten years. I mean, asking, you know, another company making an offer to you of ten cents more, and you would take that offer back and be like, Look, you know, this company is offering me ten cents more and I've been here with you guys you know, twice over, five years prior, and then five years again, I, I would think ten cent would be would would be a given, if not more for that matter. Right. I, I, I agree. I mean, this is coming out of the pandemic when companies you you as a driver know yourself. Coming out of the pandemic, companies were increasing their pay a lot. A lot of companies went up 10 to 15 cents on the mile. You've seen that as well as I did as a driver. His pay only went up a couple pennies. And he thought that was too much. Well, you know, I, I always thought that companies as small as Dick Levy would look out for, you know, would I know they got to look out for the bottom line. You know, but I, you know, I thought they would look out more for their, for their drivers as well, especially during the pandemic, you know, where a lot of, where a lot of drivers, 
you know, didn't even want to come out and drive anymore because of the pandemic. And for the drivers that stayed and 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 put in the work, I, I would think that you would, you know, look towards them and somehow compensate them for. I have for, friends that work for. Had friends that worked for other companies. They were telling me about all the bonuses and that that they were getting and the pay raises. And I'm looking. I'm like, on me. Wow, it's it's that's 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 a hell of a testimony right there, man. That's one hell of a testimony. But um, but definitely not not PC or anything like that. That that you was let go because you know because of PC or anything like that. I had no reason to PC. I lived within 40 miles of the yard. I have a personal vehicle. My other half has a personal vehicle. I have other modes of transportation. Now, I, for one, when I get out of the truck, I don't want to think about the truck until it's time to get back in the truck. My time is my time. So why would I want to go PC and around in a truck that I'm in four days a week, five days a week? Ooh, that's a hell of a that's a hell of a thought. <laughs> that is one hell of a thought. Um, unfortunately, like some companies, uh, they they like if you're at home, like if you're over the road, then they don't mind the PC. You know, of course, you can PC to work, you can PC home, and then when you're on the job, you know, you can pretty much PC to you know get something to eat or shut down or whatever the case. Right. But like when you on your home time and you shut the truck down you know some particular you know some particular companies uh don't even allow you to drive their trucks while the truck is uh is on the 34 hour uh reset at the house now if you're on a 34 hour reset outside that's different you know but if it's at home you know the company on my time off my truck was parked at the terminal I drove my personal vehicle from the terminal to the house and from the house to the terminal. You know, that's some of the best, that, that, that's some of the best thing to do when you can actually work for a local company where you stay. <laughs> that's why I'm always, I'm, I'm always for an Ohio company because I, you know, I live in Ohio. I'd rather work for an Ohio trucking company because it makes getting home easy. You know easier. what I'm saying? Right. I agree. It does. So that's, that's, that's. You don't have to worry about parking the truck and anything like that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Jake, man, that's, that's crazy that somebody would actually come out. And that's how, you know, you're right. That's how the rumor mill is. You know, it's like, it, it starts like somebody would say, hey, you know, such and such this and then when it gets to the end of the rumor mill it'll be a whole different scenario than what actually yep. happened so um i mean yep. i i agree with the i agree with the former recruiter that some people don't need to be talking <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i do agree with that but you know i guess some people just felt that you know since she left and you know, and you left prior, I, you know, and they, you know, just came out and say, well, this is the reason why he left. She didn't like it. So she left, too. So. I supported her working there. She started looking for a job. Before I left here, I've always supported her working wherever she wanted to do. It wasn't if she left, I was going to leave or I left. She was going to leave. I was perfectly comfortable with her staying if that's what she wanted to do. And she was perfectly comfortable with me staying if that's what I wanted to do. But bigger, better things come down the pike. And we do like everybody else does. If you can make more money, work less, why not? Exactly. And you got to look and and you honestly, you got to look out for yourself because these companies ain't going to do it for you. Right. I mean, I can tell you all kind of positive things about that company. I have nothing negative to say about Nick Lady other than 
you know, his pay's a little low and the insurance needs improving, but the equipment, top notch. Dispatch, they knew my voice on the phone. You know, there's a lot of great things about that company. Just, I need to make more money to work less. So the, you you will still uh, recommend Dick Levy to anybody that's come there. Do do Dick do Dick Levy bring in uh, uh, young drivers like you know new drivers that come out of school type drivers, or do they need a or do they need a, 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 a what do you call it experience to come in there? They need some experience coming in. The amount of time I don't know. They would have to get with them. But yes, I, I would recommend Dick Levy to anybody. Like if you want that part where you feel like you you're somebody, they're a great company. Like I said, I called in. They knew my voice on the phone. They knew my name. They knew my nickname. You know. It's a great small company to work for. There's just money and insurance needed to be improved and I went someplace with it. Man, that's that's oh, crazy God. to hear. I mean, that's crazy to hear that you're still giving this company so much, you know, so much good grace and so much accolades that they couldn't even turn around and just give you an extra ten cent in your pay. I'm, you know, hey, shout out to you, man, because I know some drivers come back with some with some venom. Well, this company is this and this company is that and yada, 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 yada. But you're like, hey, you know, Dick Levy didn't work for me, but maybe it'll work for you type deal. It worked for me for 10 years, man. But like, I'm getting older. I'm not getting younger. I want to spend more spend more time at the house and I found a job where I could make more money and spend more time at home. That's what's up. That's what's up. Jake, man, thank you very much for coming on. I really appreciate you coming on and, uh, you know, sharing your testimony and, uh, you know, clarifying that, nah, it wasn't that. I just left. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you very much for that, man. Uh, where are you at right now, by the way? Uh, in Cincinnati, heading to Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, that's what's up. I'm over here in Missouri, so I, I still got some ways to go to get to where I need to be. But, brother man, thank you very <laughs> much. I really do appreciate you coming on. You are a citizen. So if you want to, you know, in the future, want to come on and, and promote the company where you at, you feel free to do it. And uh, and and we'll talk again soon. Man, you got my number. Give me a call. I I'll would tell you what's up with this company. I would do that, man. I would do that. We'll we'll set we'll set it up and we'll get it in. I appreciate you, bro. Okay, okay. You you have a good day. Be safe out there. All right, now. <laughs>